Marianne Plunkett is a Tony nominee this year for her performance in The Notebook, the musical on Broadway. I'm David Buchanan with Gold Derby. Marianne, first and foremost, a hearty congratulations on the Tony nomination. Thank you very much. Um, but, I, I'm honored, uh, Doreen and I say, along with Becca, that, um, that Doreen and I are the elders. And um, I said that, well, it's up to us. We represent this beautiful, beautiful play um, and this beautiful company. Um, I love it. I love this play. Yeah, I wanted to ask you specifically about this show because you've done so many lovely projects on Broadway before. What is it about this show and the recognition for this performance that is so meaningful to you? Um, I mean, the probably the top one is that my mom lived with dementia. And so it's, I, it's familiar to me and the life within a person with dementia um, was, um, I experienced that with my own mother. Um, Secondly, I think this is a magnificent play, the combination of the music with the, it, it's not, here's the, the book, here's the music, they're this. And in the telling of the story, someone is speaking and then it turns into sound. I mean, for Allie, she doesn't have that aspect. She can speak, try and say, but she doesn't until those synapses start firing where the understanding starts to come in and then she's able to sing. Um, I just, I, you know, Becca and Ingrid, what they have created together um, over all this, these years working on it is such a gift um, to delve into every night. Um, Dorian and I go, what are we going to discover tonight? You know, it's you, the way you look at a person, the way the youngers relate to each other that affects me it affects us you know it hits your breath hits your heart um i just think it's a very very unique and incredible play um that i feel privileged to be able to be part of you've mentioned working with dorian um who's so wonderful in the role and also received a tony nomination um i wanted to ask you about that collaboration because you have to build that rapport on stage and you have a lot of scenes together. A lot of the time he's reading to you, you're watching the performances. Um, it's lovely and such subtle work. Um, how did you kind of find that dynamic and build that rapport during rehearsals and now in the run as, as you keep discovering new things? Well, we, we joke about our play, you know, because we have to keep that storyline going and much of it in silence you know, because you can't be talking while this other scene is going on and you can't be like going, what did that, making big like ups and stuff. It has to be, and I think we talk about it, Dorian and I, about the, the, the entire play is music. Um, even when it's not being sung, it's music. There's a flow to it. Um, Katie Spellman, who did the choreography, which is brilliant, which is you know, it's not traditional core, it's not dance numbers, but it's 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 a, an angle or a look, a turn, two people getting up at the same time, but they're in different time frames, turning, looking this way, seated. It, it's so beautiful. And um and we have developed over time and it changes, you know, but there are certain key things that he knows something that I'm watching that I'm imagining affects me and like like when little Allie sings this something about your hands and I go hands and I look at him which rings then at, at the end I know your hands but it's hopefully it's subtle so it's not that people go oh she's listening to hands but that subliminally it will by the end of the play go um, I have a friend who's a therapist and she calls it somatic movement. She said it's it's that it's it's within life. She, she talks as a therapist that it's you watch and it's just, you know, the way someone scratches their face or something that that's part of the and I think the music I know I I rarely just I'm looking at him and then I turn back. It's I do it on a breath or a and then there's a 
measure or something and I'm drawn back in to that because I don't, I think it would be distracting if we were just looking at each other and turning back and as part of whatever is going on, you know, the breadth of what's happening there, I think, I hope that it is, you know, part of the story. Um, yeah, it it absolutely is. It it comes across so beautifully that very subtle, as you're saying, this kind of movement as, as a collective story. And that's something I love about this musical is that Noah and Allie are played by three different performers. And I think what you and Dorian and, and the entire company has done so well is really made these two characters feel like one common spirit. You and the two other Allies, Joy Woods and Jordan Tyson, yeah, really are in inhabiting just this beautiful one singular character. What was it like working with them? I know you've worked with them in the pre-Broadway run, so you've had time to really develop what your alley would be. What has it been like finding that with them over time? Um, you know, we watch each other. You know, there's a, I remember asking Jordan at one point, I said, is there any, when you touch um, John's face, or if you, you know, is there something you do? I noticed in one song where she, does this to him in the first song together. Like, and I said, I'm stealing that for when I finally, when I go, you're Noah. It's not the same youthful way, but it's like that on those arms, and, but it's your Noah, but it's, I thought that's a gesture. And, and she talked about how she does this sometimes. Um, joy, we all have at one point in the show where we go, you know, this, just, she joy does it mom mm. stop you know um little Allie. um i'm not that kind of a girl i do you remind me of a boy i used to know and then excuse me if i pull away and so it's just it's not it's not something that an audience would go oh they all lifted their hand here but for us it unifies us somehow that we know but and I think, I think it's a subliminal thing. Um, I, I in um, Iron in the Fridge, and I'm waiting to come on. And I always I see Middle Noah Ryan, so beautiful, walk out. He starts singing with my Noah, and then Young Noah comes out, and they dress sort of similarly, and they just and it's like again, it's all breath because they look. But it's not like staged. It's just there. It's all. It's a breath. They and they sit at the exact same moment and turn their heads and standing in the wings. Every time I'm looking at that, I go, "There's just something full about it. That it was planned. That it's not banging you over the head with look at us. But it is planned. It is something again. It's the somatic movement of life of just." And the connection between that, I just, I, I get, I, I, I couldn't say enough about the show if, if I was here for ten hours. I just think it is magnificent and and human. Um, it, it, it's an offering. That's a benediction. It's saying here, all you need to do is go. I'm willing to be open. I'm willing to open my heart to life. I'm willing to say. Sometimes it's hard, but it's funny too. It's funny as hell, you know, and and that's life. That's, it's not people who are curing cancer or going to the moon or, you know, doing brain surgery. It's people who live a life of loyalty, of persistence, of being, a person that you can be proud of being, you know, Joy's gorgeous song, My Days. When I, at the end of my life, and I look back, how will I judge my days? You know, the choices I made. And she's at that crossroad. I mean, the, the composition of the play is so beautiful of little Allie and Noah, that they're so innocent yet filled with passion, but it's the beginning. And, and they're so open that it brings me to tears of the beauty of it. And then the middles who are, you know, middle Noah who has been living, building the house, I'll leave the light on. 
again, that is such, I mean, the songs are in the telling of a story and he's, he's waiting for her and middle alley who is, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I, I'm married and he's a good man. Lon is a good man. There's nothing wrong with him. She's not having to get out of a terrible relationship, but she comes to a crossroads in the seeing of the picture right before her wedding, you know, and goes, I, I'll go, I just want to go look at the house and see what he did with it. But she knows it's a crossroads. And do I do the easy thing for everybody else, which would be to go home and get married? Or do I take the path that my heart is leading me to? And then all the way through to older Noah, who is persisting. I go, you, you are very persistent. Yes, I am. That is just, um, and, and, and Allie, I think older Allie is, she is searching as much as older Noah. They are, she doesn't know what she's searching for. He knows what he's trying to achieve. I just know, and I get to fall in love, you know, in the show with the man that I've loved since I was a girl, but only in the end do I know that that's who it is. So, I mean, it's, I just think it is the most beautiful play. Yeah. Let's jump into exactly what you're talking about, which is I Know, the song that, you know, as you said, older Allie doesn't sing, you know, much, if at all, throughout the entire show until this moment of recognition, which is so beautiful. Um, so, as you're saying, composed so well because dramaturgically it makes so much sense that that's the moment where she gets to sing. I just wanted to ask you, how does it feel does it feel cathartic when you've been on this journey for, you know, the the two hours and there's finally that spark and you get to sing for the first time and it's just such a gorgeous song with you and Dorian. Is it cathartic? How does it feel to finally be able to use your singing voice to articulate what Allie is feeling? You know, the song itself, though, is a process because she doesn't go, oh, hi, I was waiting for you. It's, I know your hands is how it begins. And that connection, again, the synapses of wrapped around a baby girl. I have a girl, I have a boy. He has your hands and he starts approaching. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, I have to figure this out. And for me, it's not until I go, I know your eyes. I've seen through them a thousand times. But then it's, is that right? Yes, that's right. And then from then on, it's, it's like, it, there's a release of dream within a dream within a dream. We're, and we're singing them together. Um, and I don't say his name till the very end, help me Noah. And that is the moment of pure, it, it's joy. It's a journey towards joy, I think. Not not Joy Woods, but, <laughs> but sort of partially because she's middle, but um, release and relief. We have, we've achieved what, what the intention was. And I think it's the happiest of endings um, because as um, Andrea Burns, who so beautifully plays the mother and Nurse Laurie, again, that again the combining of those two characters, mother and Nurse Laurie, who is like a mother figure. And I mistake mother, mother, you know, and, um, and she says to Carson as Johnny, the PT of like, I used to, you know, be, have hope what happened. Like, you know, do you have time for it? And, um, Noah will get well, can get well. She won't. It's a, it's a progressive condition. And so the fact that I recognized him and we can embrace and lie down in bed and fall asleep together in each other's arms and then we don't wake up, what a joyous ending that is. Because if it was an hour later, I would be as frightened as at the end of act one where we are dancing. I'm in his arms and it's like, who? I, I, what, get away from me, help, help. And he'd have to go through that whole thing again. So he achieved the impossible and, um, and we just go to sleep. I mean, how happy is that really, you know? So. Yeah, it is a truly lovely end 
to the show and so emotional the audience is right there with with you guys um it's such a wonderful reaction every night in the house um before i let you go marianne i do want to ask you this role has brought you back to the tonys um i wanted you to take us back to 1987 when you won the tony in this category for me and my girl i just revisited that speech um on youtube such a lovely moment receiving it from bernadette peters yes, um, yeah. What is, what's your fondest memory of that night and that wonderful recognition for you? Well, I was, you know, it, to be honest, it was, it's a blur because it's just, there's so much going on. There's so many people and people are doing this and that, and that you just go, whoa, no way. There's a part of me that when I remember that speech or if I brought it up and looked at it, that I go, oh, I wish it had been better. You know, I, I wish I had been specific, but I was too nervous. Um, I wish that I had talked, mentioned my parents who were there that night, they were up in the balcony. Um, I mentioned my New England roots so that I felt, I, I felt like I want to include everybody. So I can't name anybody, any one person. But then I thought, you know, it's all right to name individual people. So. That's how I felt then, um, but but it was fine. It was fine. It's it's what it is. It's a moment in time, and um, you know I was, and, and it's so strange now that I'm I was the girl then, and now I'm older Allie. I'm older, and and yet I feel the same. And but the realization that I'm not an actor in a rep company where I play young and middle and and I'll, I'll play the older role this time, realizing I am older. <laughs> I, I am playing my age and it's no longer the girl. And to watch, um, you know, the youngers, uh, both middle and young, it, it is, they're so beautiful, you know, and their explorations and their, and the, the, the new, they go, that I, that's where I was. And, and it's still part of me. Um, and, you know, Michael and Shelley did such a beautiful job of putting everything together. Um, the orchestra, I, I just think of the orchestrations. It, it's, it's a magnificent offering um, that I am so privileged to be part of. I think it's lovely too that this role, which is in honor of your mother, brings you back to the Tonys. It's a nice, you know, maybe a cosmic interlocking yeah, yes. of past and present. Um, yeah. Marianne Plunkett, congratulations on The Notebook. Congratulations on the Tony nomination. Thank you for talking to Gold Derby today. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.